Welcome to the Trading Desk, where money talks. I'm Dave Floyd of Aspen Trading Group, and with me as always, I'm joined by Matt Davio of Red Rock Partners and Jesse Felder of Felder & Company. Before we get into this month's show, let's take a look at what the markets did in the month of April. Okay, for the month of April, we had another positive month, uh, capturing really uh, nine weeks in a row of up market behavior in the S&P. The first chart, S&P 500, you can see now we have bounced March 8th low of 666. We are now trading around 920 here in uh, early May, which is a nice 33% uh, move. That's a big move, folks, and we'll see if it continues. Next chart shows another trend uh, which has been bouncing up uh, nicely, which is the 10-year the notes. Uh, the interest rates are on the rise, which is, again, showing inflation uh, is pushing its head up again after that uh, really that crash down into the, the December uh, 2.0, uh, which is 2%. Now we're trading around three and a quarter percent on the 10-year rate, so interest rates are rising. With that, you see gold here also has bumped up from the uh, end of um, 09, and, uh, but stuck in a range here. Gold is still stuck in this range from 650 up to about 1,050, and we're trading right around 900, so stuck in the middle. And finally, the U.S. dollar has rallied sharply off the mid-2007 lows and uh, is stuck right here around the $90 range. Let's see where we go next month. As you can see, April was an interesting month. Um, we started off with stocks continuing the rally from March, but then kind of went sideways for the majority with a slight upward bias. And Jesse, you and I were talking before the show. Right. Yeah, this market's going up ugly and it's not pulling back. Well, you know, I, I haven't uh, really had a strong opinion. I, I think I said last show that, uh, you know, a lot of times if, you, if it is a new bull market, stocks are just going to keep going up and they're not going to give you that opportunity, right. that big pullback everybody's looking for, another buying opportunity. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of 2003, the market just kept going up, 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 and didn't give you that, that opportunity to buy. And I think there are a lot of people, there's a lot of cash on the sidelines that doesn't necessarily want to get in, but there are people waiting for a pullback to add, you know, stick their toe in the water. And right. I think you don't always get what you want. And there's the also markets. a lot of people, that, as we were talking, that are still saying, I'm a little concerned about the market. I'm right. panicked by it. So that yeah. probably just adds a little bit more fuel to the uh, Yeah, a lot of people are still in cash. They say, well, I, if there's been too much uncertainty. I just, I want to, you know, stay They're safe. still shell-shocked. And whatnot. Yeah. So. Shell shock, but it's also you still. Uh, I'll take <clears> the <throat> other side of the argument just for argument's sake. But uh, I think there is a. Uh, there's still. An, it's an intervention market. You've got government talking every day, whether it's Bernanke, whether it's Obama, whether it's Geithner, whether it's one of the other Fed heads. So, matter of fact, this week, every day this week, we've got a Fed head talking. We've got test. You know, uh, stress test to do out stress today test or uh, Thursday yeah. again. You know, so uh, we continue to have all this going on, which. I think in a lot of lens to the the paralyzation of you know nobody's selling, and of course we were oversold. So put those two things together, and I'm not convinced that we haven't necessarily we have to, we have to test sometime. I, mm -hmm. I did, you know it is different from '03 because '03 we went through multiple tests in '02 mm -hmm. before we hit that new low in '03. So we still haven't had that like final test. I don't think anything's possible. You could argue. Talk I mean, to me at talk to me at 1580 when we're at a new high. But until we do that, it's still a it still is a long-term bear market. Right. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. And but I think that's a long way from here. That's 700 points above us. So. Well, we can continue that when we come back from the break. We're going to take a break, pay some bills, and when we come back, we're going to continue this discussion on where the equity markets, as well as other markets, might be going. You're watching the Trading Desk on COTV Channel 11. <laughs> 